when viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. Look how calm they are. Yeah. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Look how big it is. Big it. Look how big it is. You say they are kaiju like. Perfectly designed to catch a quick breath at the surface of the water. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It may look like their eyes are located in that white patch, but that was a visual distraction. She's their eyes are actually located in front of that white patch. <laughs> The fin on the whale's back is called a dorsal fin, and it's used to help them stabilize while they swim through the water and also help in body temperature regulation. The flippers on either side of the whale's body are called pectoral flippers, and they're used mainly for steering and stopping. Now, unlike the dorsal fin, they have five bony digits inside of them that look much like the human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes, and the tail flukes are a killer whale's engine, propelling them nearly 30 miles per hour, as fast as some of our speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power, lifting their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Those are the two old ones Whistles over there. to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting.